When I came to Danville Metal Stamping, employees that were interested in manufacturing were available. That is a much tougher environment these days. Right now we have people without jobs and jobs without people. There's currently a talent shortage. We have many open positions and we still have people who are unemployed in Michigan. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce and its foundation know the future of American business and the American dream will be won or lost based in part on whether our companies can find the talent they need to grow and be successful. We have to be out front on the cutting edge with business and industry with enhanced programs that meet the needs of business and industry. If we do nothing, an estimated six million jobs will be vacant by 2020. Together, USA Funds and the Chamber Foundation have partnered with communities across the nation to tackle the skills gap and build the workforce of the future. Our talent pipeline management initiative allows employers to play a leading role in closing the skills gap. The talent pipeline management process is really engaging employers in an employer-driven solution for workforce development and skill gap solutions. We volunteered to participate in the TPM pilot because we were incredibly excited about the possibility for harnessing public-private partnerships in order to tackle this incredible problem. We used to rely on schools to include employers as part of their strategic plans. But now we realize the answer is empowering employers to drive partnerships with the schools that are best meeting their needs. The vocational programs that were being taught in the school system were not filling the workforce shortages in the industry. It's important that we unite business as partners with education. The talent pipeline system absolutely changes education. That's what does change it. Our leaders can't grow without a talent pipeline, and we have to know what they look for so that we can help them go get it. The Talent Pipeline Management Initiative has reached over half the country and hundreds of businesses in just under two years. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation has really sparked this effort across the nation, and I think it's provided a hope for a lot of folks that we can find ways to replicate a lot of the work that we're doing in this region and other parts of the country. The talent pipeline management process must continue to develop our workforce, to be competitive with overseas markets, the viability of our company as well as those around us. It has to continue in order to get the operators in and uh, to be competitive. Talent pipeline management is challenging the education system to redefine what it means to be career ready. This is not just an initiative, it's a movement and we can't wait to see where it takes us next.